Hello class, Mr. Garino here. In this video I'm going to illustrate how to put an emoji on your website. Not that you have to, but in case someone wants to do it, it's a pretty cool thing. You might want to give it a try. So here's my website folder. And I think I'll just open up my index page because that's my simplest one. So I'm going to open it up in Notepad. And down here in my main section after my heading, I'm going to put a paragraph. And then I've already done a search in Google, so you know, the waste time watching me search around. So I did HTML for emojis. Now, not all the, not all the hits I got worked the way I wanted them to. Uh, but so I've already have these tabs open and show so I can show you quickly uh, how it works. So here's a bunch of emojis. Right here they give you the Unicode. And notice over here it says UTF-8. If you remember, I had you say at the top of your page, in the head section, classify that we're using the character set UTF-8. And that's important because it tells the browser how to encode things. Um, so now that we're actually using some emoji code, um, if we didn't classify this as UTF-8, the emojis might not show up correctly. You might get some gibberish on the screen. So that's one of the reasons why you do this. There's others too, um, but it's just basically that's what everybody does, so everything works the way it's supposed to work. There you go. How's that for an awesome explanation? So inside of our paragraph mark, on this page, if I wanted to use this one with the hearts, I would click this link and notice up top it says native so that's kinda like browser and we have on Apple products Android products they got two different Androids I'm not sure why uh, you got Twitter okay so I guess the code works differently on different apps but we're doing website browsers so I should get this if I click over here so when I click on this now it gives me a code right here but this code is a hexadecimal code and I want just a decimal code so I click decimal and then I get this code I'm going to copy that go back to my index page and the way that you apply this code is you use this symbol that's over the seven it's called the ampersand usually means and like uh, Tom and Jerry type of thing and then we use the hashtag and then we paste in that code and then we close our paragraph tag and then we just save this and we double click on index and there's my emoji so you can do it with code um, there's also a different way to do it you can just copy paste them so if you find a different website and this is up here from yeah so there's my soccer balls that I did as a favorite icon. I was wondering why that was there. Anyway, um, so you can do it by putting in the code or you can just copy paste. So if I come here and I want, I don't know, this robot thing, I click, it's copied it, I go back to index, let me put in another paragraph tag and then just say paste. Now over there it's it's in notepad so you're not going to see any colors or anything because this is a text editor but it seems to work. Close my paragraph tag and save it. Um, where did we go? Double click on index and now you can see the little robot thing. It doesn't look exactly like what I copied because, well I don't really know why to tell you the truth, because over here it sort of looked greenish and over here really look exactly the same so these might be more for I don't know if there's some setting I missed maybe it's set up more for Twitter or something here you go this is what I got this is what I thought I was getting and this is what I got so maybe that doesn't work exactly right but you can play around with it um, here's another website if I click it says copied emoji let's go over here paste it in see how this one looks. Yeah, I think that one looks correct because that was this and that, close out these two, 
that does kind of look like that. So the robot thing came out a little weird. The other two worked. So like a lot of things, play around with it. If you really want an emoji on your website and there's a specific one you want, play around until you get it. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. So here's your code. Sometimes you can just copy paste or you can use the decimal equivalent of some emoji with just some number. Remember to start with the ampersand and then the hashtag and it should appear. So there you go how to include emojis in your website. Thank you.